Welcome to the Reverberations Podcast, where we explore the human experience and the journey of self-discovery. What's good, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Reverberations. This is your host, John Stewart. As always, it's truly an honor to share this time and space with you and discuss topics on the journey of self-discovery. And this week, the topic is believe, be it and leave it. In last week's episode, we talked about we can't be the doctor if we don't have the patience and that this journey is ours to mold and to live while we're alive, and that our unwavering trust paves the way for us to accept our path of transformation with patience and with open arms, and with the power of choice and recognizing the power of choice. We're able to lean into patience and use it as an ally. True life support. Because the alchemy is in the space between. This is where trust is built. And there's a foundation rather than a castle in a sky. Especially for those who have experienced significant amount of trauma, abuse. This is particularly important. To be able to pave the way for healing, patience allows us to receive necessary information to be trauma-informed and learn how to navigate situations in the moment, to be able to harmonize the moment, to be able to slow time down enough, or to be able to quickly respond. Learning how to navigate the spaces in between with patience, with trust, and making choices that support our soul's yes and our heartfelt desire, to allow ourselves to be to be the essence of what we know to be true, to be our self. And through trust, we develop a sense of belief, a trustworthiness. There's an energetic investment and a value that is placed on it. We invest our energy and place value on the trust that we have in our beliefs, that they will support us that they will nourish us, that they will provide opportunities that are in alignment with what it is that we wish to experience. The most potent and intimate experiences that we can have are with ourself, that self-love, that real self-love in the silence when no one else is around, no distractions, no phone, no internet, No social media, no TV, no music, nothing other than everything you. Our whole self, we meet our whole self in the moment. There's an active presence and vulnerable authenticity. Our heart and soul quiet our mental processing and we drop into our natural rhythm. We feel the reveal. We witness our self unfold. How beautiful is that? For some, it can be frightening. It can be blinding. It can be too much to handle. We may see things that are a little bit too much in that moment. And as we've discussed before, it's all about utilizing the tools and resources that we have. And with practice, with repetition, trust is anchored and our beliefs are rooted and amplified. There's a casual confidence that organically reveals itself from within. That light begins to radiate. We begin to beam Each and every single cell is activated. Begins to harmonize. Begins to sing in tune with all of the other cells around it. And that begins to expand and amplify. And influence the cells around it. Initiating a wave that is in alignment with our soul's yes. 
as we choose ourself, we merge with spirit, inspired, embodying our souls, yes, our heartfelt desire and our most expansive vision, what we're doing is actively being, actively being it. We are it. And as Benjamin Disraeli says, nurture your mind with great thoughts. To believe in the heroic makes heroes. Deep inside, don't we all desire a life rooted in peace? To be loved without condition, to be held, to be seen, to be heard, to be respected, to be valued, to have our health and safety for ourselves and those that we care for, to have true autonomy, freedom, sovereignty, a freedom to be ourself, our true authentic self. For many, we sacrifice our ideals for an imposed reality. Conditioning over time embeds this in our mind. Our neural pathways become conditioned. Our sovereignty becomes compromised. The question that we are invited to ask ourselves is, what do we believe? What do I believe? Why do I believe it? Are my beliefs mine? Are these beliefs mine? And are they true? Do they support me? Do they honor and respect others and all in creation? Are my thoughts in alignment with my personal values and ethics? Are my actions in alignment with my personal values and ethics? When we're off center, not in tune, out of alignment, how do we remember our soul's yes, our heartfelt desire? How do we bring the sense of adventure back? How do we remember who we are? While it may seem counterproductive and counterintuitive, detaching from the outcome in any expectation so that we're not bound by results allows us to dial into the source of infinite potential. We meet fear eye to eye. We drop our armor, fully naked and vulnerable, stripped of all of our reasons. All we can do is be. Who are we in that space? Who am I in that space? With my armor dropped, meeting fear eye to eye, fully naked and vulnerable and stripped of all of my reasons, all of my judgments, all of my justifications, all of my rationalization. Who am I? What comprises me? How do I fill my container? What's possible? What's possible if we remove the construct of time and allow natural progression through a sense of curiosity, inspired action, and synchronicity to guide the way? As Florence Scovel Shin so beautifully says, miracle shall follow miracle and wonder shall never cease. What is your soul's yes? your heartfelt desire, your greatest vision. What brings a feeling of peace, presence, and eases your nervous system? What inspires a feeling of joy, brings a radiant smile to your face, and lights you up from within? What's your most realistic dream? The one that's right there. You know it. You can touch it. You can taste it. You can feel it. What holds you back? What holds you back from experiencing those things? What releases that hold? Connecting with the truth within, having those conversations with ourselves so we can rise to a higher level of awareness and break free from that idle state of stagnation. So important. Deepening our trust in ourselves, practicing patience, choosing consciously. This nourishes and nurtures our belief structure, fortifies our framework crystallizes our soul's yes and heartfelt desires here in the physical right here conscious living requires a conscious effort 
and within each and every single one of us is an inexhaustible amount of potential. What are we choosing to do with that? Together we can dial into it, amplify it, and realize it in this lifetime and for generations to come. To be it, live it, love it, with integrity, with honor, with fun, with play, with joy, with purpose, in right relationship. Why not? Believe, be it, and leave it all on the line. We are better together. Thank you all once again for tuning in to another episode of Reverberations. Truly is just an incredible experience to share this time and space with you. To be able to share what is on my heart. To be able to share guests that are passionate, that are intentional, that operate with integrity and are of service to humanity, to all in creation. So if anything in this podcast or any of the previous episodes inspired you, touched you, moved you, share this with your social media, share it with your friends. Let's reverberate and spread the love. This is how we can co-create more sustainable and harmonious coexistence with all in creation. Let's amplify our love. And remember, we are better together. Have an amazing day. As the sun rises, we wake each day with a question. You know what that question is, don't you? The one that rests in the cavities of your subconscious, playing out and seek, knocking at the temples of your conscience. It's not so much the question. It's that you know the answer. You know, it's right there. You could just about touch it, taste it. I know you've been there. Yeah, you've seen the light. That inner glow from the depths of your soul. It's calling out to you. You too are a seeker for the beacon that shines inside. Are you ready to take it to another level? High above the sky, yet deep within your soul. Hello, 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 hello.